Hi guys, in this video I will talk about how to create original concepts and a presentable video treatment for your film projects, maybe music videos or commercials, or, or really whatever other video content you are working on. And this is especially crucial if you want to get more clients, make more money, and have an overall smoother process during your production. In the past I've talked a lot about how to create great looking videos. Uh, I showed the gear and the techniques used in big productions and also how you can achieve the same effects but on smaller budgets. Well today I want to show you how to start with a clear vision that both you but also your team and client understand and love. After all filmmaking is a collaborative effort so it is important that everyone knows what is your vision for the project especially if you are the director. First, let's address the question of why should you bother creating a concept treatment? Well, like I mentioned, it is important that everyone knows what you are aiming for, uh, so that your team aims in the same direction. Also, uh, if you want to be a successful filmmaker financially, then you will need to be able to raise money or find uh, paying clients. Producing video content these days is so affordable that everyone, <laughs> including their grandma, does it. So, to get paid, you really have to stand out. You have to be able to show that you are prepared, uh, but also you need to be able to wow your potential client with your ideas. Uh, being able to talk well uh, about your idea is an amazing skill, so definitely practice it. Now, unfortunately, these days a lot of the networking actually happens virtually. Many emails are exchanged before a working relationship is established and the client signs the contract. So, the best way to get that client to return your email is to first send them your original idea in a way that they can easily understand. So, how do you do this? Well, here's how many talented filmmakers get their ideas across. Uh, it's called a video treatment or a, a written tr treatment. Of course, writing a good treatment is one skill that is worth learning, uh, but words can only show so much. Uh, that is why a lot of projects that personally wowed me and wanted me to work uh, with a particular team uh, were the ones where the director uh, took the time to create a collage of images that represent their final idea. This can be easily done by drawing storyboards and concept art or, or taking photos of locations you plan to film in. Uh, of course, if you can't draw beautifully and don't have the time or money to travel to the locations where you plan to film, uh, then you can always use stock photos. Uh, there's a lot of different websites and places where you can find stock photos. Now, of course, some places are better than others. And actually, today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks. And that's because they offer a wide and diverse selection of stock photos and 4K video clips, uh, music, sound effects, after effects, templates, animated graphic titles, uh, and, and a lot more. In fact, this whole video I'm doing today is done with mostly stock videos and photos and graphics that I got from Storyblocks.com. Uh, they also offer unlimited downloads, uh, plus all the clips are royalty free for both personal and professional use. Uh, if you are creating a video treatment where you need some extra shots or maybe graphics or sounds, uh, then definitely check out Storyblocks using the link in the description of this video. So, like I mentioned, you can create a concept treatment using just stock photos. But an even better way is to do a video treatment. Uh, think of this sort of like a trailer for the project that you want to make. Since the final product you are making will contain moving video and sounds or music, uh, it only really makes sense to show something as close to the finished project as possible. If, for example, you're pitching your idea for a music video uh, that you want to create, then use the actual song that you're creating the idea for and then uh, to that music simply edit the images or video clips that show the, the locations you're thinking of using but also show clips that sell for example things like the mood you're going for maybe you find an image with the dramatic lighting that you really want to have in the final video or something that shows the types of colors you like even just editing the video clips to the type of rhythm or pace can help to really sell your vision and these are all things that will inspire your crew and also get the potential client excited about working with you. And, and don't forget, just the fact that you took the time to come up with such a visual treatment is going to really impress your clients. It, it shows them that you are both prepared and that you want to create something unique and not that you're just doing this you know, for the money. Like I always say, if you first put in the work and do anything with passion, the money will eventually come. 
This is how I personally have won a lot of bids for music videos and commercials when I first started my production company. Uh, I also find that having such a concept treatment is really useful later during production when it's being used as sort of a look bible. It will help your whole team remember the look you're going for and you know for example what kind of locations or wardrobe to look for and how to do the lighting and maybe the final color gradings and, and so much more. I've even used this process of creating video treatments to sometimes help me come up with an idea when I was, for example, stuck and nothing was really uh, coming to me. Uh, I would just browse through tons of images or video clips and pick the ones that stood out to me. Now, don't think it's fast or easy to do. It will take some time. And to be honest, the most time intensive is probably just the whole process of picking the right images. But trust me, it is really, really worth it. Also, don't worry that you're, you know, sort of basing your idea on other pieces of artwork out there. Because in reality, unless you really just duplicate something angle for angle and, and you, you don't change anything, you don't add anything original, uh, unless you do that, it really at the end of the day, all of our ideas are always going to be influenced and based off of things that we've seen in real life or maybe some other pieces of, of work, you know, art, paintings, films, whatever it is that influences you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want to see more filmmaking tutorials, then definitely subscribe. And also, don't forget to follow me on my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!